ericmwadetmother.com. Let's take a look at the Canadian market and I wanted to talk about how the market can be unfair, if you can call it that, because generally what we are going to see in a market is on the way up, the process tends to be very slow and the market grinds higher in a staircase format. But unfortunately for market participants, the market has a tendency to take the elevator down. So staircase up, elevator down. This is a Canadian weekly. Now take a look at the daily. You can see this a little bit better. You can see here, nice movement, pause, movement, pause, movement, pause, movement. All right, and then recently, same thing. But there's a disproportionate time or the duration on the way down is shorter and sharper. This creates a lot of confusion in the market because psychologically we are still connected to the previous move on the way up. Everything was slow, took its time, and then we suddenly have to change our behavior and approach because the market is forcing us to accept this huge drop seemingly out of nowhere right so unfortunately in the market we have to accept that on the way up the market likes to take a staircase and then on the way down it tends to select the elevator now want also to discuss a couple of things we can see here that the big moves in this two-year time frame is we can see a strong weekly performance here as the RSI moved above 50 we get a big drop here on a week-to-week -week performance during that drop we get good reaction on the way up as the market moves above RSI 50 on that week. And we can see this week we are moving below RSI 50. So understanding how markets respond to this level can help you pretty much exp you know, determine the magnitude of a move either up or down. Now marry this with the idea that we've seen right here the market drop below RSI 30.9 and other important levels and all these levels are going to be explained in the description of the video so check the description of the video for explanations where I get these RSI levels so as we drop below 30.9 you can see the reactional move here sizable drop that would be similar to when we moved above 69.1 now 69.1 is pretty much the exact opposite of 30.9 and you can see on the day we moved above 69.1 we have this big up day. In other words what I'm saying is these big moves in the market don't come out of thin air. Generally it's the market responding to critical RSI levels. For example RSI level of 50. RSI level of 30.9 and RSI level of 69.1 those are major levels now keep in mind it also depends on what time frame the bigger the time frame like the monthly or the weekly and even say the daily the bigger the time frame the bigger the move now before I conclude here quick observation just like we had this nice move when the RSI held above 69.1 for the most part the market stayed above that level until here in other words we had this strong uptrend yes there were pullbacks but the market held above 69.1 throughout this process and the Canadian market moved higher similarly the same thing happens here as long as the daily is holding up holding below RSI level of 30.9 
expect the markets to be under net net downside pressure because it's the exact opposite of what happens during this period it's another way of saying that as long as the market is holding below 30.9 expect the market to continue staircasing down eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings i'm out <laughs> Woo! <laughs>